In today's video, we have a little experiment. Ducks are going to do garden cleanup. process of harvesting the last of our garden. We got some straggler Brussels sprouts, there's a couple of pumpkins, uh, barn cat, maybe a little bit of kale left over. But let's face it, our garden is done for the year. No more growing, no more food. I hope you got it all in jars of the freezer, but it ain't coming fresh anymore. We've already had two snows and so uh, it's done. My plan is tomorrow I'm going to actually have the ducks take over. So what I'm going to do is this. So that's their duck house right out there. And what I'm going to do is drive them along this chute that I built and herd them into the garden. And then they're going to use the garden as their playpen for the next couple of days. The goal is to have the ducks get one good meal of fresh green stuff before their winter diet gets a little bit more boring. I also want them to poop all over the place and help fertilize the garden for next year. I'm also hoping that they might uh, root around and look for some uh, insects that might have nested in the soil and have gone dormant for the winter. Um, the idea being they can eat those guys and reduce our pest problems next year. So let's see how this experiment goes. Doing a little something different today, guys and gals. There we go. To get freaked, no reason to get freaked. It's all good. <laughs> Something just totally startled these guys. So they're a little skittish right now, they don't necessarily like the new setting, um, which is understandable. I thought it was gonna be a real pain in the butt trying to get these guys into the garden space, but that actually worked out pretty well. I'm gonna hold off on giving them their grain this morning um, in a hope that it will. Uh, encourage them to eat more of the vegetables and uh, leafy stuff right now. I'm starting to see them peck around. Let's see how these guys do, just left on their own for a bit. about two hours now and I'm just checking on the ducks. They look like they're doing pretty good. You can see, we've got some feathers scattered here, some duck poops. Yeah, they started to eat some of the kale down, that's for sure. You can actually see they've been digging in here, poking around looking for bugs.
Well, the weather certainly has taken a uh, turn for the worse. It's been pouring rain all afternoon. So let's go bring the ducks in and then we can go see what sort of uh, effect they've had on the garden. Let's do this. All ducks go to bed. 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 All ducks. Oh, whoa. hey, oh. Whoa, wrong way, guys. Oh, crud. Oh, dear. Hey, hey. All ducks go to bed. 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 Oh wait. All ducks go to bed. All ducks go to bed. There we go. You were very well behaved, Lil. Hey, stay back. Whew. That was perhaps not the smoothest uh, putting them to bed, but it actually worked out pretty well. I was really worried that Lil was going to go pounce on him, but she behaved herself. She was a good cat. Yeah, no, you can definitely see an impact. They've cleaned up a lot of stuff. Um, still some of the higher kale. You can see like the lower kale. They've just totally mounted that down. You see those little holes right here? Boom, there's one there, there's one there. That's from the ducks going in there, probably looking for insects. So that's some good impact too. They really did a number on these Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Like, you can really see it. Like, whew, they were in here. I'll probably end up putting the ducks back in there again tomorrow. Hopefully the weather clears up a little. The more that they work in there, the better it is for the garden for next year. If you guys want to see how I trained our ducks to go to bed when I tell them to, watch this video right here. Or you can watch something else. Or, as always, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.